I've mentioned many times that selling cash secured puts is one of my favorite strategies. But what if sometimes I don't want to cash secure it? I just want to make a play. A play that's very similar to the short puts, but has an insurance on it. So you know exactly how much you're risking to win how much. Welcome back mindful investors. In this video, I'm going to talk about the bull put spread. It's very similar to the bear call spread as I mentioned in this video, but completely opposite. Let's break down the terminology here. We're going to break it down into these three parts right here. So what does bull mean? In the stock market, it just means you're bullish on the stock or you think that the stock will go up over time. So that's when you're bullish in the stock. Okay, so bullish in the stock just means trending upwards. And this put portion just means that you're selling and buying put contracts to implement this strategy. So right here is a buy and sell contracts. The spread just lets you know how much you're risking to win how much. And it's broken down into two parts. Number one is how much you're risking. So risk. And number two is the reward. How much you're winning. Let's talk about this portion. Buying and selling put contracts. This doesn't make sense in the real world. Let's say we go to the Apple store, we buy the iPhone, and immediately we ask for the refund. On the surface level, everything just cancels out. But it's different for these put contracts because you're not buying and selling the same thing, the same identical thing. Let's illustrate it with a very simple example. We have a stock that's at $105 and we want to sell a put on the stock at $100. So we sell the put at 100. If we just did this action alone and this is a $100 level and the stock tanks below the $100, then you need to have the cash to secure this put option, which would be 100 times 100, $10,000. Here comes the second part, where we buy a put as an insurance. So what we're doing is that we're buying a put at, let's say, $95. There's a condition here is that the strike price for the contract you sold at $100 must be higher than the strike price of the contract you're buying. So in our simple example, the $100 is higher than $95. Okay, let's write this down. So your strike of your sell put must be greater than the strike of your long put. Long is also the same as buy, short is the same as sell. So in other words, the strike of your short put must be higher than the strike of your long put. Okay, now we'll talk about the spread, the risk versus reward of this bull put spread strategy. Let's do it with our very simple example. We're going to go through the risk first. So risk, how do we calculate that? To calculate the risk is very simple. It's a differential of the strike prices times 100 shares per contracts. So in our example right here is 100 minus 95 times 100. That equals $500. All right, now we talk about the reward. To calculate the reward, we need to know how much premiums the contracts are. Again, we're going to set some arbitrary numbers here for the premium prices. Let's say the $100 we sold for a dollar and we're buying the insurance for 70 cents. To calculate the reward is the differential of the premiums times 100 shares per contracts. Simple calculation, 1 minus 0 0.7 times 100 equals $30. So the odds for this bet is $500 to win the 30. There are pros and cons to this strategy. The pro side obviously is that you're limiting your risk at $500. If you didn't buy this put as an insurance and the stock tanks to $0 in the worst case scenario, then you lose the 100 times 100, $10,000. But since you bought insurance for $0.70 cents or $70 on this $95 put, your upside has also gone down by $70. The analogy here is that we place a glass floor on the stock price. And then if someone drops a rock on it, it breaks through, it will drop straight to the ground and you lose the 10 k But what we're doing is that we went to a third party insurance company. Saying that if a meteor comes down and breaks our glass, I don't care. I paid the $70 so you take care of all the potential damages. And our simple example is up to $10,000. So there it is. That's my summary for the bull put spread. What do you think about these odds? Risking $500 to win 30. It sounds ridiculous, but sometimes you would want to protect your downside. 
What do you think about this strategy? Are you gonna add it to your repertoire? Drop a like and subscribe if you found any value in the video. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.